God bless you, saints of God. I pray that all is well in Jesus' name. Could it very well be that we have been preaching salvation and giving salvation wrong? Have we been missing out on the greater pieces that form together that bring about the true meaning of salvation, of salvation, soteria, saved, healed, delivered, made whole? Have we been missing? We've been just going through the sinner's prayer, which really isn't biblical, but we are leading people to Christ as they believe in their heart and confess with their mouth that they are saved, that they're coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and making a decision to and, and confessing their faith to now believing in Jesus Christ. But not only can you be saved, but in the salvation, in coming to Jesus, you can be healed. You can be delivered. You can be set free and made whole. Spirit, soul, and body. That is the true salvation message that many preachers don't even know. And if they don't have a revelation of the reality of what is transpiring and taking place by the spirit of what Christ paid for at the whipping post and at the tree, the cross of Calvary. See, Jesus and the stripe back of our Christ, by his wounds, we were were healed. He sent forth his word and healed. Who was sent forth to the whipping post? Who took the stripes upon his back? Christ. Who went to the cross of Calvary and shed his blood for you and me? Christ. That by his wounds you shall and will receive. Not just a ticket to heaven, but wholeness of what the Son of God in the flesh. Got to remember, it was the blood of God that was coming out of the back, that was dripping upon the cross, that was over the eyes of our Christ as he looked upon the people that paid it and did it all. We are missing a very vital piece of the salvation message. And there's a lot of ministers that do not have this revelation. There's a lot of ministers that are missing these moments and yet people are still running bound. People are still being tormented. People are still leaving because they said the sinner's prayer because the enemy wants to keep ministers even deceived, not having a revelation and understanding of what soteria, salvation, truly means. Salvation is not just a sinner's prayer and coming to an altar and repeating after me. Salvation is saved, healed, delivered, made whole. Yahshua saved salvation and deliverance. Salvation and deliverance. You can't separate the two. There is no distinction, y'all. That's the problem that we have in the Western culture. And especially when we got the division in the church where you got the deliverance ministers and then you have the other ministers. There is no division in Christ Jesus. There is only wholeness, Yahshua, salvation and deliverance, saved, healed, delivered, made whole. It's all wrapped up in the package of the body of Jesus Christ and the shed blood that was poured out on that tree and the back stripe of our Lord at the whipping post on his way to Calvary. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name. There's preachers that are robbing individuals and I know they're not doing it purposely. 
They just don't have a revelation and an understanding of what salvation truly is. Salvation is the complete package. So don't rob people of their heal of their healing, of their miracle, of their deliverance, of their wholeness. You know what wholeness is, y'all? You you remember the you remember the woman with the issue of blood? Your faith has my daughter. Jesus, the only woman who came and touched his talik by faith, your faith, my daughter, has made thee whole. Go. Ho. Spirit, soul, body. That's what we need to be preaching. It's not just a ticket to heaven. Though that is a vital part because salvation is the greatest miracle of all. But if salvation is the greatest miracle of all, all the other ones should follow suit of what Christ has paid for you and me. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name. I want for y'all to do your due diligence and look in the Strong's concordance of what the word salvation truly is. Look at the name of Yeshua. Look it up. What does Yeshua mean? You can't separate deliverance and salvation. Salvation and deliverance. It all correlates and ties in together. Be blessed in Jesus' name.